Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It Down. Now we're going to be starting the Fatesworn expansion, which is the newest expansion for Kingdoms of Amalur that released today, December 14th, 2021. As soon as I loaded in, I got this prompt. I'm not sure if you need to be at a certain point in the story in order to get this prompt. Uh, but anyway, let's read it. A mysterious letter. You notice a mysterious letter in between your belongings. You don't know where it came from and decide to read it. Strange Occurrences. My name is Elsa Ossofwaite. You probably don't know me, but we don't have time for lengthy introductions right now. Let me just state that I was among the people involved with the Well of Souls project. Orders reached us that there have been some strange occurrences near the Hall of the First Sworn in Menetir. I was curious, so I went ahead to investigate on my own. What I found here is truly unsettling. I could try to explain everything in detail right now, but I think it's best if you come and see for yourself. I have a strange feeling that what I'm observing is directly linked to you. Give me a visit if you don't believe me. I'm waiting for you. It's unlike the other DLC or expansions for Kingdoms of Amalur, uh, this one is a continuation of the main story. Where the other ones were all completely side quests. But before we continue or pursue the quest, uh, we're actually going to swing by Rathir real fast. Because there's a new merchant. He is in the Seafoam Tavern. I thought the sound is okay. I know the music is always like super loud. Right now, a little bit more. At about 25% now. Hello. I did a sound test earlier when it was at 50%, and I couldn't hear myself talk. This guy, he's the only merchant on I'm the... I'm happy to help you with whatever you need. I'm open to buy or sell, if the price is right. His name is Gambler. <laughs> uh, Mithros. It grows on you. Give yourself a little time. It won't be long until you feel right at home. All right, let's shop. All right, so this merchant is unique in that he is a gambling merchant, uh, but he also acts as a way to finish... Uh, sets of equipment that you wouldn't, but they would have more trouble, I guess, completing. So I'm gonna buy all of these. So we just have, you know, oodles of money to spare. So yeah, it looks like I got all unique equipment. The Makaira Longsword. Only considered a short sword by Colossi Warriors. The Makaira is made for visceral close combat. We got the Primal Cow, a Wrath's Helmet. This might be new. No, this isn't new. I recognize that. Uh, Corsair Shirt. Don't have finesse for that. Uh, made of coarse wool and leather, this shirt has saved many a sailor from what might have been a lethal wound. Its many pockets and compartments are ideal for smuggling. Vengeance's, Vengeance's Curious. Oh, it gives me more armor, too. Alright, cool. Okay, that gives you an alternative way of collecting uh, set pieces. Because it looks like all the purple ones are guaranteed set pieces of some kind. Or unique uh, piece of equipment. I'm actually going to swing by my house in Webwood and drop this stuff off. I want to go into the expansion with a mostly empty inventory. Is this the right hammer? So for more damage, I get stun chance and stun duration. We do bonus damage to stun enemies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was using this because of the crit chance. This looks a lot cooler, so we're going to use this one. I'll keep the other one in hand if I feel like I'm not doing enough damage. Oh, this one's better.
Yeah, Winter's Respite. Now, the shield sent as a gift to Rathir on the eve of the Elfay War is one of only a few tokens of support from the Wild Alfar to their Dokalfar kin. Looks pretty cool. Oh, but the plus two to mine abilities. Yeah, I'm not going to swap that out. Alright, taking a little sidetracked here. But I think it'll be worth it in the long run. Alright, so let's track down... Fossil Thwait. Coastal Thwait. Way over here. So I read somewhere that the uh, level cap increased. I don't know if that was an official thing that I read or if that was speculation. Elsa's last words. Uh, a letter I found on the corpse of Elsa Postlethwaite. Uh, there's blood all over it, and seems and it seems to contain her last words before she died. An urgent situation. Things are even worse than I had anticipated. You won't believe what I just witnessed. The scar are appearing out of thin air, and they keep coming. This is not a situation we can ignore any longer. If we don't act fast, we will soon be overrun by Nascaru. It seems like the weave itself is falling apart. I don't think we have any other choice but to get the Order of Fate Weavers involved. I need to talk to Agarth. I'm sure he knows what to do. It's not going to update. Maybe it didn't. Because I didn't read it in my inventory. Maybe it has to be my inventory before I read it. Alright, talk to Agarth. Alright, back to Rathir. Go up. Fine wares today. Students of magic, masters of spells. I really hope the music isn't too loud. I did a sound test, but fetch this, clean that. I don't always have the best ear for it. Forgive the intrusion, Your Grace. I am Sergeant Brom. Mel Sencher command. I have been sent to fetch you. Your presence has been requested by the Scolia Arcana. They mean to speak with you immediately. Why do they want me? They said it was urgent. I didn't want to bother you, but... Well, I've got my orders. Mages always have their reasons. I'm just the messenger. I'm looking for Agarth. The old Fate Weaver? He's not in the city. He's been sent elsewhere on a mission. I don't know anything beyond that. But I have a feeling the Scolia Arcana will. You know who I am. I know what you did. We all do. And we're grateful. So many dead. This truly is an honor. What is this about? Not my place to say, Your Grace. You'll have to take it up with a Viator. Come along. Stick close. Rathir is a bit of a mess these days. Uh, Sergeant Brom. I finished basic training only six months ago. Since then, I've been waiting for my orders to ship out east. Soon, I'll be over in Cluricon, helping to clean up what's left of the Tuatha. Good day. Yeah, we never did release the old uh, head of the Scully Arcana, did we? 
<laughs> and he's still stuck in that prison that the uh, the main bad guy for that quest line was stuck in. So, all the stories are true. I didn't dare believe it. You have done all of Amalur a great service, Faithless One. And I wish my coming here was under different circumstances. But the reality is that we face a new threat. One born of our recent victories. Uh, who are you? I am Ambeth, a fellow fate weaver and citizen of Amalur. One who I might add is in your debt. I did what I thought was right. And we in the Order are grateful on behalf of ourselves and all those who will never know of your sacrifice. But actions have consequences. And your ability to reshape the Weave has caused it terrible harm. I am Lord Ambeth, leader of the Order of Fate Weavers. I have watched you from a distance with both dread and fascination. Tragically, your greatest feats, the defeat of Tiernok and the restoration of Mel Senshir, have come at great cost. After taking so much damage, the tapestry of fate itself has begun to unravel. And now the whole of Amalur threatens to come undone. That is why I have summoned you. The Order has heard disturbing reports from the West, from the region of Mithros. Niskaru sightings. The gathering of a secret brotherhood. There is even talk of a new god rising. As if we needed another one. Your ability to control the threads of fate has begun a process that will end in destruction. Unless it is reversed. The Fate Weaver, Agarth Ulfric, was sent ahead to gather information, but he will need your help. You must go to Mithras. You must learn the truth, and you must save us all from a fate worse than death. Uh, what is this new god? That uh, remains unclear, but the rumors are troubling. The name Telogrus has been whispered in more than one instance. Telogrus, god of chaos. Surely this is a mistake, but we must learn all we can. Uh, why St. Agarth? The old warrior has a long history with the mountain dwellers. They trust him. Most importantly, he was once an ally of the master weaponsmith, Scald Atlas. She will be crucial to your mission. Is the weave really unraveling? The old warrior. Most importantly, yes. We did not believe it possible. Sadly, many things that were believed to be impossible have come to pass. There is not much time. I'm ready. If only that were true. We must proceed, regardless. The cliff pass into Mithras has only recently reopened, and you will need to secure a permit to enter. Secrecy will be to your advantage, which is why we advise you not to reveal your true identity. Try not to attract attention, for once. Follow the Settlers West, and learn what you can about the forces gathering there. Find Agarth if you can. It is true, I cannot see your fate. But I choose to place my faith in people, not in their destined paths. May you make good choices. Can't send the Fateless One. Not all Fate Weavers align themselves with the Order. And those in service of our enemies will know what we plan to do. You will be expected. Anonymity may be your greatest weapon. So they shouldn't be on the lookout for a guy with a comically large hammer and glowing hands. Uh, why do I need a permit? Mithros is a dangerous territory, plagued by bandits and rock slides. 
The Alpha army has tried to staunch the flow of refugees by requiring permission to enter. Those who cross into the mountains do so at their own peril. I killed a god. Uh, you're wrong about me. Perhaps. This is your chance to prove me wrong. Goodbye. Amalur really loud, is I'm always sorry. changing. And as every ballad ends, another one begins. A new thread in the tapestry of fate. This is one such story. It is the story of a young apprentice, his doting master, and a god who sought to reforge our world in chaos. In the snows of Mithros, a hero will be all that stands between order and ruin. For sometimes, fate is a burden from which you are freed or to which you are sworn. And sometimes, not even fate can keep the monsters at bay. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of cutscenes not being uh, beholden to the same rules as all the other audio settings in the game. It's been happening more and more often the more I play games. I don't know what's going on with that. Same with like main menu music Greetings. not being adjusted by the music uh, slider in the audio settings. I don't understand. Right, what do I need to do? Oh, we're probably going to the ships. It did show a Garth board the ship, so that's probably where we need to go. To the docks. Welcome. Don't mind me. Students of magic, masters of spells. So we'll definitely do the uh, the same like pacing as we did in the base game. Uh, whenever we come across like a town or a village, we'll speak to all the NPCs in like one episode, no matter how long it takes. Then we'll do exploring and questing in between those episodes. Keep it consistent. Excuse me, coming through. No, can't be. I stand in the presence of greatness. If only my friends could see this. You're famous. They're making dolls of you. Did you know that? For the kiddies, I mean. Well, I have a few, just for me. Not in a strange way or anything. Should I be getting paid royalties or something for that? A uh, crystal war. War's over. Most of us volunteers will be discharged to go home and help with the reconstruction. There's plenty to do. Which means I'll need to figure out new ways to avoid work. Uh, Mithros. All caravans of people heading into the mountains. I'm a little jealous, actually. All those new opportunities. Got something called snow out there. All white, cold, light water, but crunchier. It's wild! <laughs> uh, private... I know it's pronounced garish. But I think garyish sounds funnier. Five years. Right here. Didn't lift a sword. Didn't so much as raise my voice. Not much to write home about, I'm afraid. I made up plenty, though. Really juicy stuff. Hmm. Now that I think of it, that may end up being a problem. <laughs> Alright, I need a Mithros permit. Ah, the call of the West. Cold out there. You'll want to pack something warm. I've thought about going West myself. I hear it's a new frontier out there. Open land. Nobody telling you what to do, whom to fight. Most of us could use a fresh start after all this fighting. I'd love to see the mountains. Maybe search for the lost city of Crownhold. Well, here you go. One Mithros permit. Now don't go selling that on the black market. 
Honestly, don't. I'll get sacked. A prismere. It's been changing. Ever since the Tuatha fell, weapon masters think it's only a matter of time before it loses its magic altogether. Too bad it couldn't have happened sooner, like ten years ago. I'll be here. All right, cross the border into Mithras. All the way over here. Oh, oh, here's our map. How does it compare size-wise to... That is pretty, pretty big, isn't it? I think the Teeth of Naros seems bigger than it actually is. You can run around that and just like... I'll be not even a couple minutes. All right, let's fast travel here and begin our journey. <laughs> we'll get there. You have a permit. Private Sterling will see you. I'm excited to see snow. Hello, Private Sterling. Alpha Army. Mountain Brigade, state your business. Uh, Agarth. The old fate weaver. He came through here not long ago. You might catch up to him, if you don't run into trouble. Try the tent camp, revival, or Gale Crossing. That's a village a few miles past the gap. They don't see a whole lot of new faces since the closure of Sativa Road. They notice strangers. Uh, Private Sterling. My sister fought under General Talera on the day of the Pale Swans. She died alone in Cluricon. The day after we received Bindi's death notice, I made the journey to Dyden Hill and enlisted. That was ten years ago. Sativa Road. For generations, merchants moved spices and magical regions through the mountains along a single route. It's the only link between Alfaria and the Almir Valley within a thousand miles. A terrible avalanche buried the entrance just before the war. We've been working for years to clear it out. Settlers. They're a peaceful crowd. For the most part, stick to themselves. I've seen rowdier priests. It's the followers of Talogris that worry me. They look like the others. Farmers, craftsmen, veterans. But they have a hunger. Like men on the brink of starvation. They seek something in those mountains. Some purpose, after all the madness. Whoever this Telogris turns out to be, I hope he wields his power carefully. Is that after the God of Chaos, so he's probably not going to. I'm going to Mithros. Well, you've come to the right place. Do you have the proper paperwork? Ah, oh, that's it. Thank you very much. Let's take a look. Everything seems to be in order. You certainly pack light for a settler. Not like the rest of these poor souls. You'll be fine so long as you have a weapon. One last thing. I'll need a name for the border records. Uh, who are all these people? Refugees, migrants, settlers. We've got a mix of everything. But they've all got one thing in common. Hope. I hear a lot. And folks are saying there's opportunity for a new start in Mithros. Some are out in those mountains. I might even head out west when I'm done with my service. Start over. Why do I need a weapon? Where do I start? First of all, you've got plenty of wild beasties lurking in the cliffs. Wolves, cliff bar guests, you name it. And we've seen a noticeable rise in Neskaru sightings, if you can believe that. Maybe it's everything going on out east, or something new. But you can't take a stroll that's stumbling over a chaos monster. 
So she doesn't seem to recognize me, but she recognized Agarth. So that tells me Agarth isn't traveling under a different name. Like he's not concerned about being recognized. And also, everyone else seems to recognize me. Is Agarth more famous than I am? Because everyone in Rathir seems to recognize me. It's weird that she doesn't. Um. Um. All right, go on. I'll put you down as unknown. No need to waste my time. Bye. Bye. Jerk about Move it. Move along. Stay order. Yes. May I help you? Hold on. Give me one. Sorry. Give me one moment. It's this damn border manifest. Doesn't add up. I told Private Lloyd how to do it. But that fool is more interested in impressing these young farmers' daughters than he is in his job. Damn it all. I missed someone. Why are you telling a complete stranger this? Uh, to Logris. They say he's building a safe haven for those who wish to begin again. Away from the strife, misery, and hardship of the world. Why would such a person name himself after the god of chaos? Oh, an ulterior motive. He's not as benevolent as he seems. Uh, who did you miss? A settler on the manifest. One of the folks who came through the checkpoint. If my superiors found out, I'd be sacked. No question. Ever since they opened the pass, we've needed to monitor every person coming and going from the region. In case of spies. But someone got through. I just don't know how. Maybe a stolen ticket. I can help you. Truly. Only if you mean it. It's just that... Well, I can't leave the checkpoint. But I need to check some of the names of the manifest. If you're willing to lend a hand, I could probably spare some supplies. Or maybe an extra piece of equipment. But if I find out the intruder is you, well, there'll be hell to pay. For both of us. I like how she's offering Bye. me a piece of equipment as a reward. I mean, does she not see what I'm kitted out in? Compared to what she's got on? I don't need your trash. That takes us to the past as well. Alright, well, let's do it. Into the Wild West. I think they could have had a more scenic introduction here. Like when you first. I think it's the wolds that you first enter and you see Rathir in the distance. There's Lord Garain. It's one of these areas, and like when you first enter it, you see like Rathir in the distance, like dominating the horizon. They could have, I don't know, had more mountains. Everybody kept talking about them. Right, by the way, I'm going to call the episode here. Uh, in the next one, we will explore this area, talk to all the NPCs. And again, we'll be following the same same formula I had with the rest of the, the playthrough. Uh, we'll talk to like all the NPCs in every town, like in one episode, and then we'll you know do exploring and questing in between that, so on and so forth. It looks like there's gonna be a couple towns here, however these tents are, and possibly. Did one guy say this city was lost? Marked on my map. Well, either way, I'm gonna call it here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.